Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something. Everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in. And the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zackity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes! cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick. As evening fell, they saw a great big palace down below. My uncle's house, said Princess Pearl. <laughs> Let's go and say hello. <laughs> Bang, crash, thump. They landed. didn't say hello. <laughs> Instead, he said, You naughty thing! Where have you been? He thundered. You look an awful mess. What's happened to your crown? And where's your pretty frilly dress? <laughs> but uncle, can't you see that I'm a doctor now? Said Pearl. The king replied, Princesses can't be doctors, silly girl. <laughs> Seize her! Don't let go of her! Now, lock her up inside. Let me go! Called Princess Pearl. She stamped and stormed. <laughs> and cried. <laughs> Time went by, and Princess Pearl spent many weary hours sewing pretty cushions and arranging pretty flowers.
This is the sky. Oh, so vast and high. Sometimes sunny and blue and warm. Sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. Zigzag lightning, flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. said the Gruffalo's child, as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mess. Here comes a little one out of his house. Mm, not big. Not bad. But a mouse, at least. <laughs> You'll taste good as a midnight feast. Ooh. Thank you. 
To meet. Hmm? If you'll let me hop on to a <coughs> hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend so bad and big. <coughs> faster and ever faster, following all the bends. The plucky young duck went... Riding! Riding! Riding. Galloping down the highway, back to her hungry... Friends! Here! Then they shared out the food from the saddlebags and feasted all night long. Bright were the flames of the bonfire, loud was the music and song. Wild was the moonlight dancing, merry the cheer and chat. For now, we can live in freedom, safe from the highway rat. And what of the rat in the echoey cave? No. <laughs> Breathe out fire, not snow. <laughs> Now that you've been shown, <laughs> you can practice on your own. <laughs> you will all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Hmm. <laughs> Zog went off to practice. Oh, 
his might. <laughs> it's whirled around in triumph. <laughs> and his wingtip caught a light. Just then, the girl came by again. Whoosh! Oh, dear. Mm. You poor old thing. Hmm. Perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 